This is the amount of ABBA songs released, and this is me. Hi, and I'm going to listen to every ABBA song and rank them from highest to lowest so we can answer the question, what made them so freaking great? It's the costumes, I knew it. So I have designed an excellent spreadsheet to help rank these songs, but of course it's just my opinion and yours can differ from mine. Let's go. First up, Ring Ring, the deluxe edition. This was ABBA's big break in Europe explaining why there's a German, Swedish and Spanish version by Lingual Legends. The entire album feels very light-hearted and humorous with the exception of Disillusion, taking on a far more mature tone which separates it from the others. Nina, Pretty Ballerina. Such a corny rhyme, but I love it. Okay, love is a strong word. I enjoyed the moment the song and I had together, but upon reflection, it doesn't really emotionally get me. I'm ranking it 93. And just when you think you know ABBA, they release a song like this. Music, a vibe. Lyrics, interesting. So do any of you use metaphors in conversation to illustrate a point, but then halfway through you realize it doesn't really make sense? So this next song explores starting over in life using the metaphor of a merry-go-round. This does make sense, but emotionally it doesn't really do much. And I point that out because their metaphor game in a few years is a meal worth waiting for. That works, right? On to the next album. Let's listen to Waterloo, ABBA's 1974 Eurovision winning song. I know this is a classic, so please don't revoke my ABBA membership when I say it's rank 29. Let me explain. There are three categories to ranking the songs. Music, does it make me want to dance? Is it melodically beautiful, etc.? Lyrics, does it emotionally connect with me and does it make me go, hmm, those are good lyrics. And re-listen, how much do I want to relive this experience? And then I tally it all up and that's how I get my ranking. Next up, this beautifully melodic song, Hasta Mañana. Okay, this song has become my new obsession. I love it. And the key change in this song is so good. And now the lowest ranking song. This song isn't terrible. It just doesn't really do anything for me. Sorry, Abba. Now it's time for the Abba album. And of course we start off with this banger. The choice to strip the chorus down instead of building it up is such a nice choice by ABBA. Plus, the music video is kinda iconic. Next up, Tropical Loveland. Ooh, tropical I had the thought that they should name this song Tropical Love Island, but then I realized that's the pun, Tropical Loveland. It just took me a minute to get there. The hold this song had on me as a child and now I love it so much. Also, can we just take a moment to appreciate the ascending line into the chorus which makes it hit so much harder? So good. SOS was ABBA's first big hit since Waterloo and it marked the beginning of that classic ABBA sound. Pop plus melancholy. The formula was made and the meal was done. Dang it. Seriously, just look at what their music makes me do. This was definitely one of the songs on my rotation list when I performed ABBA concerts in my bedroom as a child. This one was a crowd pleaser. <laughs> I loved this one. I like that one a lot. The takeaway for this one, play to your strengths once you find them. And that's what they freaking did with the album Arrival, perfectly titled. The hits contained in this album are wild. So the year is 1976, the two couples are still going strong and the album opens up with this banger. And now the song that probably everyone knows, a worldwide hit, Dancing Queen. It's pure pop joy and I can't fault this song. Knowing me, knowing you. Just the perfect combo of pop and melancholy. Also my desire to track blue eyeshadow is really strong right now. Decades later and it's still a relatable sentiment to so many of us. <laughs> 
That's Me is another song I didn't know. It's melodically engaging, but it doesn't really build up to a chorus, which is so iconic with ABBA, which is why I'm giving it the ranking of 55. That's me. And now Fernando. Fernando. Stripping away the drums for the second verse, then reintroducing them in the chorus works so well. I love this song. Next up, the album. I could have sworn that Thank You For The Music was a song released at the end of their career, but no! It was released in the 1997, the album album. Eagle is such an underrated gem of a song. Just wait for this awesome bit. Ah, it's so good! Musically, this is a great song, but lyrically, I don't really connect, so I'm putting it at number 23. If you change your mind, Take a chance on me. What a fun song. Rank 25. The name of the game stands out by the soft vocals and there's a nice contrast to the typical big other sound. What's the name of the game? I'm nothing special. In fact, I'm a bit of a bore. What I love so much about these lyrics is that there's the ability to see yourself more fully as you mature. Your flaws, your prose. Neither of it is in a good or in a bad way. It's more like this is kind of who I am at this point in my life and I love these lyrics. This song is just perfect to me. Then why isn't it number one, Caroline? I don't know, I'm sorry. Marionette, this is an underrated gem. See, they do dramatic really well. Also, this would be the perfect song to use in Mamma Mia 3 if they were telling the story of the grandma when she was young. Just saying. Damn! Why are they so good? Why? They make good music. Pretty much all I want from the musician. But to expand on that, catchy music, relatable lyrics, killer costumes. It's like serving cheesecake to a sweet tooth. I'm gonna be satisfied. But there are people who aren't sweet tooth, so I get it. The cheesecake is never going to be for you. Just means there's more for me, which I'm very happy with. <laughs> Alright, it's time for Voulez-vous. The disco era has entered the chat, as well as Anyates and Beyond separation. Which I think we can hear of more in the next album, but for right now it's time for As Good As New. Oh, disco era, here we come. <laughs> and I'm kind of surprised it wasn't a hit. Also imagine having to sing this as your marriage is falling apart. Just nightmare and terrible. <laughs> It feels impossible to not dance to this song. It's that good. I used to find I Have a Dream to be a little bit of a boring song, but the older I get, I just find the simplicity in the lyrics. It's beautiful, it's so relatable, it's just beautiful. This song is top tier. It starts with this haunting musical phrase that sets the mood. The verses are very stripped, allowing the vocals to shine. And then we have this descending violin line that leads us into this epic chorus. And the lyrics are so simple, anyone can sing along. That's why this is my number four. 1980. They're divorced. There's one year away. Yet the band still stay together to release Super Trooper. A song about struggling but knowing you'll be okay because you have that one person by your side. This is pop plus melancholy done so well. Opening up with lyrics that anyone can relate to. Their metaphor game is so strong and it only gets stronger with the winner takes it all. About things we've gone through The winner takes it all The loser standing The lyrics are just heart-wrenching In every way, this song is the winner It's my number one, even though it breaks my heart I can still recall And here they go again, perfect melancholy pop This album really feels like a breakup album Which is why I'm so surprised to see that Lay All Your Love On Me is on this album I was under the impression that it was so much earlier on in their career Walking break, a walking break I came back from my walk, my ears are refreshed, I'm in comfy clothing It's time for the visitors Tonally it's a very dark album, you can hear that 80s are coming up But it's approach is very moody The first standout for me is when all is said and done A melancholy yet hopeful song about saying goodbye It's just a beautiful song you, 
and then slipping through my fingers a song from a parent to a child which you don't often see in pop. It just makes me feel the feelings and I appreciate that. And that's it. Oh, that's what we thought. Because 40 years later, we get Voyage. They're back, baby, and this album is so good. I need to talk about When You Danced With Me. I genuinely had no idea that ABBA had so many songs that had a Celtic vibe to them. And this song just makes me want to go to Ireland and dance in a pub, like this. My dancing. And then a total stark contrast, we have Ode to Freedom. A beautiful, classical piece that is just stunning. It's beautiful and I think it really shows their musical maturity, lyrical maturity. It's just a perfect ending to the song, to the album and potentially their careers as well. And bam, here's my top 10. What do we think? I really want to hear what your top 10 is because this is a challenge. Even looking at this, I'm like, oh no, I should have put this song here or that song there because so many of ABBA songs are just great. Thank you for watching and until next time.